Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. It's another edition of the Daily Edification, the Daily Exhortation, and it comes to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Baal Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baal Shem, All praises and glory is definitely due, especially in these times. Now, I wanted to respond to a comment that uh, Elder Apostle Ta'ar made in this video here, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. So without further ado, let me just play the part where he makes the comment, and then I'm going to res respond to it with, uh, with the uh, scriptures, of course, and hopefully it'll be edifying to you brothers out there. So without further ado, let's go. And there shall be a time of trouble, and as Jacob's trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, and we're talking about right now, it's going to get worse. It said that it's going to get bad so so bad to the point where the Most High is going to have to deliver us. <clears throat> and it's going to be a great escape. <clears throat> and it's going to be it's going to be so close that uh, you're going to think that you might not make it. Oh my goodness, I'm not going to make it. And then you're going to make it if you're, if you're of the elect. And that is so true. And when he said that, the first idea that came to my mind was how it was for Yahweh Shai when he was on that cross. It seemed like the Heavenly Father wasn't going to deliver him or accept him back as his only begotten son. Okay? And here it is right here, the book of Matthew 27. And plus he had these the Jews down at the bottom while he was being hung on the cross. Down at the bottom, the Jews were making fun of him and, and uh, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Chastising him. You know, disrespecting him. And, uh, you know, he's up there on the cross and he's in, in imaginable, unimaginable pain, okay, suffering unimaginable pain, excruciating pain. And he, you know, suddenly it seemed like he, like he wasn't going to be accepted by the Heavenly Father. You know, it seemed like the Heavenly Father was going to distance himself from, 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 you know, from his son permanently. And that's the way he felt. And here it is right here. Um, the book of Matthew 27 and 42. Let me start at the point where they were making fun of Yahweh Shai, right? Matthew 27, 42. He saved others himself. Well, let me start 41. Likewise, also the chief priests mocking him with the scribes and elders said, He saved others himself he cannot save. If he be the king of Israel, let him come down from the cross and we will believe him. So right there, if you, if you play the movie in your mind, like I always tell you, you got to imagine what you're reading. Right there at the foot of the cross, you had these wicked Jews making fun of Yahweh Shai, right? So let's read on. He trusted in the Most High. Let him deliver him now, if he will have, if he will have him. For he said, I am the son of the Most High. And for a period of time in Yahweh Shai's mind, it seemed like the father, it seemed like the father ain't going to have me. Ain't going to take me back as his only begotten son. Because let's read on. The thieves also, which were crucified with him, cast the same in his teeth. Now from the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the earth. The sixth hour, that's about 12 o'clock in the day, you know, high noon. There was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. That's about three o'clock in the afternoon. And about the ninth, ninth hour, three o'clock in the afternoon, Yahweh Shai cried with a loud voice saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. That is to say, my power, my power, why have you forsaken me? So that's how Yahweh Shai felt. He felt like, man, the, the, what about all these promises the, pursuant to, you know, in the Old Testament, the prophets, all these promises the Father said he's going to give me? It seemed like he ain't going to give it to me. It seemed like he, like he abandoned me. You know, that's, that's how Yahweh Shai felt. That if he didn't feel that way, he would have made that statement. Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. That is to say, my power, my power, why have you forsaken me? See? So he felt that way. So that backed up what Elder Pasatar just said. It seemed like when the time for deliverance, because all hell is going to break loose out here, it seemed like the Lord ain't going to deliver us. But at the very last minute, the Lord is going to deliver us. Just like he delivered and accepted his son at the very last minute his his only begotten son being Yahweh Shai okay uh and then not only that Yahweh Shai he, he uh the father gave him the promises 
that, that, that he promised them. You know, not all the promises because part of those promises is for Yahweh to come back and inherit this earth. But in heaven, in the spirit world, Yahweh gave him, or Yahweh gave him all the promises. As a matter of fact, he sits, he sits at what? The right hand side of the father. And there's a scripture. I'm trying to think of it. Uh, let me see. Uh, Highly exalted him. Woo, that, that, that was a hard one to try to word in my mind. Highly exalted him. Let's get it. Hey, the Holy Spirit really got to work with you in these videos, man. <laughs> Straight up and down, man. Here it is right here. Philippians 2 and 8. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and be, became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross, which is what we were reading about earlier back in the book of Matthew, right? Wherefore the Most High also have, have highly exalted him. Now remember the statement Yahweh Shai made? Eli, Eli, let's read it. Matthew 27 and 46, and about the ninth hour, Yahweh Shai cried with a loud voice saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. That is to say, my power, my power, why have you forsaken me? And at that moment, that's how Yahweh Shai felt. That this was the darkest hour of his life, all right? He felt that way. He felt like, man, the Father ain't going to accept me. All these promises he promised me, maybe I ain't going to get it. Maybe I, ain't, maybe I ain't as highly chosen. Maybe I'm not that guy. That's how he was feeling. He, he felt like the Father forsake him. But did the Father forsake him? Oh, hell no. <laughs> because the confirmation of that is Philippians 2, and uh, let's read 8 again. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, the Mosai also have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. And you know, it's, it's the same way it's true for Yahweh Shai, it's the same way it's going to be true for us. We're going to be driven, just like Elder Apostatar said, we're going to be driven right to that point where it seemed like we won't be delivered, but then in the twinkling of an eye, like it says in 1 Thessalonians, we're going to be delivered and changed in a twinkling of an eye. And then we're going to receive those same promises that Yahweh Shai received. The same promises, man. Because the scriptures tell us in Romans, the 8th chapter, we're going to be joint ears. I believe it's Romans, the 8th chapter. We're going to be joint ears with Yahweh Shai. So whatever Yahweh Shai inherited, we're going to inherit. And this is one of the things that he inherited from his father Yahweh, which seemed like he had forsaken him. Philippians 2 and 9 again. Wherefore the Most High also have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, and that's Yahweh Shai, that at the name of Yahweh Shai every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, <laughs> and that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai is Lord to the glory of Yahweh the Father. How about that? Man? How about that? So just something for you, brothers. To think about, put on your mind, you know, just enhancing what Elder Pasatar said, just adding on to it. It seemed like the Lord ain't going to deliver us, you know, when that time really comes. But we have, to, we have to be faithful unto death, okay? Faithful unto death. And just when you think you ain't going to be delivered, you're going to be delivered, just like Yahweh Shai, okay? So with that, I'm going to say Shalom, and it's on to the next video.